Okay, so this is problem 16 from chapter 4 on the node voltage method. And so we have a circuit with four um, identical resistor values. And that resistor value is not specified. We have V1, V2, V3, and Vn. And V out is at the open, so that means V out is really Vn. Um, well, actually, no. V out is this node right here, not the end. It's the drop starting there. Um, so for part A, we need to use a node voltage method to show that V out is the average value of the voltage sources. And in part B, we need to find V out if Vn is 100 volts and V1 is 100 volts, V2 is 80 volts, and V3 is 60 volts. So start directly with the no voltage method. The first thing I did was I said this was a node, this was a node, this was a node. And then I started to do the no voltage method. And when I did that I said this is Vx minus V1 over R, Vx minus R over V1, Vx minus uh, V3 over, well then I had a short circuit and that's always how if I'm not paying attention that I'm clued in that this is a super node. So, if I don't pay attention and I get, if you're on an exam and you start to do that and you go, you use the node voltage method and you go V1, A minus V2, you take the difference in the voltages and all you have is a jumper in between, that is a big clue that you have a super node. So, this is really V out. I just have, I'm jumped to here. This is really V out and this is really V out. So this is all the V out node. That's great, because that makes my equation very simple. So, no voltage at V out is going to be V out minus V1 R plus V out minus V2 over R plus V out minus V3 over R plus V out minus Vn over R. All that equals zero. So all I did was I said the um, Okay, no voltage is the application of Kirchhoff's current law. So all I said was current in and out of the V out node must sum up to zero. We have V over R, voltage divided by resistance is current. So this is all the same R, I can factor that out. So that leaves me with one, two, three, four V outs. And then I have minus V1, minus V2, minus V3, minus Vn. All that equals zero. So then I'm going to multiply through by R, multiply both sides by R to get rid of this R. Zero times R is zero, so and that gets rid of R for me. Now we can solve for V out. Bring these four guys over to this side and will give us V out is equal to one fourth V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus Vn. And that is our proof that when the resistor is identical in the, and the, um, the top node is V out, that it's going to be the average of the sum of the uh, different voltages. So that's our proof for part A. For part B, we want to find the voltage V out. Well, we just proved that if the resistance is identical, that it's going to equal the average. So all we have to do is say V out is equal to 100 plus 80 minus 60 over 3. And that is going to give you 40 volts. And that is the end of problem 16. Don't forget to share the video and like the Facebook page.